I don't know if you want to diplomatically explain how you came to some kind of um, truce, you said, or, or compromise with Grace <laughs> Gershuni. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> um, so it's very funny um, about me and Grace because yeah. um, I kind of started out on um, a potentially very contentious footing with her right from the get-go because um, this was back in 2019 and the ISE was organizing a panel on the um, question of, you know, whether animals should be part of the food system or not. And um, oh, of right, course, okay. I and I volunteered to be on that panel. And of course, we all know what perspective I was taking. <laughs> and Grace, on the other hand, being a small scale rancher um, in Vermont, uh, we all know what perspective she would be taking on that panel. And what made matters significantly worse, I did not bring this up actually at the event, but um, I found out that, um, so there's a woman in the animal rights movement named Patrice Jones, who has an amazing sanctuary called Vine Sanctuary in Vermont. And um, she wrote a book called The Oxen at the Intersection a few years ago, um, actually a while back, um, about this college in Vermont, um, I think Green Mountain College they're called, uh, where they have these two oxen um, on the campus and that was you know, part of their like an agricultural department and they were you know, teaching the students about farming and everything. And so these were like their two resident oxen and um, one of them had an injury and, um, you know, they're both getting older. And so the college decided that they were going to kill the two oxen and chop up their bodies and serve them in the cafeteria. And Patrice, of course, had a local animal sanctuary. And so she said, oh, you know, don't do that, please. Um, you know, uh, we will take the oxen and you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to transport them. We'll come and we'll pick them up. Uh, just please let them go. And the college um, said no. And there was a big campaign and, you know, many students got involved and, you know, all these people were trying to pressure the college to let the oxen go to the sanctuary. And the college adamantly refused. And in the end, they killed the oxen. And so Patrice was devastated, obviously. Um, but she also was really questioning why this had happened because it seemed uh, so irrational you know it's not like they yeah. needed the meat yeah. and um you know so many people wanted to support these oxen why would they do that and uh, so she wrote this book which is a really profound psychological study on that question uh, called the oxen at the intersection and it really talks about um the investment in domination as an ideology and right. the goal that, and and how that is manifested through subjugating and killing and consuming the bodies of other animals. Well, in the midst of all of this, um, I found out that Grace had written an op-ed in support of the college. <laughs> and you can just imagine how I felt about that. Um, so uh, that first panel, you know, it was, um, kind of a little bit fraught uh, between us. And, um, you know, I her area of specialization um, is the impact of animal, well, specifically um, cow ranching and other uh, large mammal. Um, so, yeah. Like grazing, um, that, you know, basically she believes that this is good for um, soil uh, health. And I have certainly read much research that disagrees with that stance. Um, but, you know, I didn't go head to head with her on that because there are so many different aspects of this issue uh, that I, you know, um, I didn't feel like that was necessary. And I felt that 
it was just going to turn into a quagmire. And, um, you know, that is her area of specialization. So I focused more on um, why I feel that animal agribusiness doesn't really work with social ecology as an ideology, because social ecology is all about, number one, ending systems of domination and hierarchy, mm. which I believe subjugation of non-human animals very much is that and also influences that, that our attitudes about non-human animals, just like our attitudes about nature, then impact our attitudes about human to human, right? And systems of domination within human society. So that was kind of my area of focus. And I think she was kind of relieved about that because, um, you know, she hugged me at the end of the panel. <laughs> she was really happy that I hadn't gone head to head with her. Uh, oh. That was three years ago. And then um, at the gathering in Vermont this past summer, you know, the issue came up again. And again, there was tension around it. Um, but I think that we kind of left on better footing actually for the reason that I just said earlier in this conversation, which is that I was kind of making the argument of, you know, not having this sort of like disposability culture in our movements where anyone that we, you know, disagree with, or, you know, that we mm. think is coming with an objectionable viewpoint, you know, that we just cancel them and ice them out. And, um, you know, I was saying that, um, and actually, I was really talking about that uh, in connection to my interest in psychology and its relevance to movement building. But I was saying, you know, we have to really kind of understand why they feel the way they do. And we really have to have that um, patience and commitment. Um, if we're going to build movements, you know, for collective liberation, then right. we really have to strengthen those skills of trying to understand where other people are coming from. Yeah. Even if we might be violently opposed to what they think, why do yeah. they feel that way? And to value them as whole human beings, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think that really um, kind of sent a message to her that, you know, because I saw her kind of like nodding, you know, and mm. really, um, you know, appreciating that. And then, you know, it was kind of like, you know, she exchanged some warm words with me at the end you know, where we kind of said, you know, we don't agree on this issue, but that doesn't mean that we have to hate each other as humans or, you know, not see value in each other as humans and this sort of thing. And um, so I think that was basically what happened. <laughs>